bought the Beauty Creations and Louis Castro full collaboration collection. I have the box here. I have everything in this collection. We are going to try it all on. We are going to swatch it all. I'm going to show you everything in here. I'm so excited my order is here. We are going to play with this collection. Let's jump into it. <music> We are going to talk about this collaboration between Louis Castro and Beauty Creations. I am super excited because I love seeing creators get to collab and work with their favorite brands. So I saw this. I've never tried Beauty Creations. I was reading up on their website and I saw that it is female owned, Latina owned, and I thought, this is the time. This is the time for me to try Beauty Creations. So I bought the full box. I bought the full box set and it was $99. And then there was on the website that you could use code Louie for extra discount. So it was only $90. I thought that was a great price point. So I just bought the full collection. I'm going to show you close-ups of everything so that you can see what all this box had in it. So this is the PR box set. We have a snatched water resistant liner duo, Fuego Lip Trio, the Baddest Para Shadow Palette, Latina Lip Trio, Full Para Potential Faux Mink Lashes, the Chi Chi Blenders, which is a two piece set, and there is a collectible keychain. So I did order this from the Beauty Creations site, like I said. And when I placed my order, I noticed on the site there was a little disclaimer that orders may take a couple of weeks to process and ship, but I got my order very, very quickly. So I am super pleased with that part of my like customer experience. Again, I have never tried Beauty Creations, the brand, but I'm excited to. Now, we're going to try everything on today. I am wearing a lip trio today. Let me tell you the right one. I'm wearing the Fuego Lip Trio. I went ahead and put on the lip liner and the lipstick. I have not put on the gloss yet. We'll do that together. But I really want to put on both lip trios in this video. So that's what's on my lips now. And I know you kind of saw close-ups of everything, but I want to show you close-ups and swatches of this palette. But first I have to tell you, because you may not have seen this like flame detail on the outer sleeve of the palette is like crushed velvet. I think that is so nice or like felt or something. And then the lettering, the baddest para is like raised and metallic. So <laughs> I wanted to point that out because I think the packaging is very luxe, but let me show you a close-up and swatches of this palette. We have a very purple and pink and neutral color story in this palette. Again, this is going to be a first impression. I have never tried this brand, so this is going to be all new to me. I'm just going to tell you like my initial thoughts on this, but of course, I will be doing a follow-up review probably in a couple of weeks after I've been able to try every single shadow in here, all the products, wear them for long amounts of time. I will be able to come back and do a follow-up review, but I'm excited. We've got a nice big mirror in here. So, I'm ready for shadow. I am going to be doing an eye look. We're going to use the lashes. I did use one of the sponges to do my makeup today. It's very soft, very bouncy, very nice. So let me put down an eyeshadow primer. Let me zoom y'all in and we will create a fun eye look with this palette. Okay, so let's go ahead and put on the lip gloss. So we'll have that on while we do our eye look. I am, like I said, wearing the Fuego Lip Trio right now. I'm having the lip liner on and I'm having the bullet lipstick on as well. And the packaging is really nice. Like it even has the baddest para like printed on the ferrule of the lipstick. And you can't see now, but on the top of the lipstick, there was like a heart embossed in the pan 
which was super cute but I want to put on the gloss with y'all so this says Louis Castro and beauty creations on the packaging the baddest para and then the spicy is the name of the lip gloss on the bottom I really like the packaging we have like a flat paddle applicator so let's put that on that looks very shiny is it like a vanilla caramel scent or something mm, I like that that's really really nice so here we have gloss no gloss up here let me put gloss on top and then why don't I give y'all a quick swatch of the lip gloss right there on my hand and I can swatch the other lip lip from here too the other lip products from this trio as well so let's do a little bit of the lip liner right there very pretty the formula of this lip liner reminds me a lot of the ColourPop lippy pencils like very nice and creamy and then we'll put the lipstick right there so there are the swatches I mean you saw them on my lips but there's the palm of my hand so you can see them right there okay now I will put down my eyeshadow primer I always use an eyeshadow primer a base for my shadows no matter the brand I'm working with so I will do that and then we will play with this palette and these eyeliners and the lash okay so I put my eyeshadow base down on this eye and looking at this palette we have mattes we have shimmers uh, a couple of mattes with sparkle to them which I really like those formulas and we do have one pressed glitter in here so I want to play with the purples and pinks in this palette I feel like because of the packaging and everything you automatically think like purple purple palette but if you look at the shades yes there are a lot of purples but there's also this really pretty burgundy we have some pink tones in here we have some really pretty neutral shades we have a nice black down here some dark browns so I do feel like there's a versatility in this palette but to start out our look I keep going back and forth on what I want to do but I think let's start with this pink right here this looks to be a matte shade right here and there are flames embossed on the pan you could probably see during the close-up but there are different embossings we have like a heart flames a pepper a paw print like really cute embossing but let's start with this pretty like light hot pink shade Okay, I'm gonna take my Sigma brush. This is one from my Sigma favorite set. I'm gonna pick up this pink shadow. I'm gonna make sure there's no creases in my eye primer and press this on. I've never tried this brand before, so I don't know what to expect, but I think that's looking pretty. I'm gonna pick up a little more on my brush and just press right there I really want to take this pink kind of here in my socket but I'm laying the brush down so that the shade will go above the socket and below and I can just really fluff this pink on I'm gonna bring it down to the lid right here and then out and around okay I think this pink is really pretty like we are off to a great start so what I want to do now is deepen up the lower lash line a little bit and I feel like I definitely have some options in this palette we have really light shades and we have really deep shades that is one of the things that kind of attracted me to this palette so looking at all these deep dark shades I think we will go in oh uh, I keep debating I'm like this one no this one but I want to keep on with the pink purple train I think we're going to use this shade to deepen up the outer corner eggplant it has a heart in the pan 
But I think for the lower lash line, I want to go into this shade right here. It also has a heart in the pan, and this is baddest. So we started with this shade, and now we're going to add this to the lower lash line, and then we'll deepen up the outer corner with this deeper purple shade. Okay, so I've got baddest on my brush. I'm using, this palette has a really big mirror. So I'm just going to use the mirror here, and I'm going to drag this back and forth on my lower lash line yeah that is that's really pretty okay back and forth like this okay now i'm gonna take that deeper purple called eggplant and i'm gonna press this right on the lid in the outer corner and then bring it out i really like to do looks like this with a deep outer corner and when I'm testing a new, to me, brand, new formulas, things like that, I really like to kind of create an eye look and a shape that is something I know I like. That way I can really kind of see, like, how are the shadows working. And I think that is looking really nice. Just like that. I think what I will do though is add an even deeper shade. I thought that purple might be a little bit darker and I'm not talking about where I put it on top of the pink. I'm talking about where it just went on top of the eyeshadow base in here. So I'm actually going to reach for just a touch of this black um, called Perero. I'm going to reach for this black. I'm going to deepen up the outer corner just a little bit more. I'm not going to take the black as high as I took this purple, but just a little bit right in here. All right, just a little bit of black right here in this small part of the lid right there. There we go, just to give us even more depth. I'm going to keep it in that small area and not bring it up too high just tapping like this and small blends and then what i want to do i want to bring in another mat we are going to who hmm which one i think we'll go with a mixture of this matte white and this matte kind of like vanilla shade right here i'm gonna mix both of those okay i'm gonna take a little of that kind of mixture of shadows on this very fluffy brush and I'm just going to diffuse the edges of that hot pink matte and just kind of buff and blend out. Okay, so far we've used about six of the matte shades. So I'm ready to play with these shimmers. I want to go in with uh, Mommy all over the lid. I'm going to pick this up, another brush from my Sigma set. I'm going to spray my brush after I pick up the shimmer shadow just to, you know, minimize fallout, help with the intensity, all of that. And we're going to put that all over our lid. Okay, I'm just going to press the shimmer shade onto the lid first. And then once I have it pressed off of my brush, then I'm going to start blending. Let me pick up a little bit more because I want to bring that shimmer up kind of high so that when my eyes are open, you're still really able to see it. This is a pretty light purple. I'm just going to build it up a bit so that I have a lot of intensity. Okay, for the inner corner, I want to do something really sparkly. We use several of the mattes, and I do think a matte inner corner would be beautiful as well, especially like this matte white. But I want to highlight the inner corner with this shade right here, this beautiful kind of purpley pink shimmer. So I'm going to pick this up on my fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pop that right there on the inner corner. Just patting it on so we get a lot of that kind of like shimmer coming through. 
I'm kind of happy with the Alec though. I like the purpley pink kind of like Barbie vibes. I know Barbie is like all the thing right now with the movie coming out. So let's, let's grab our liners. We have two different liners actually. We have a purple and a black. And these are a felt tip, not a brush tip. They are a felt tip. And we'll, we'll use the purple today. Let's go for it. I'll try the black another day. But, or you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's do the black and then I'll do the purple kind of on the inner corner. That way we can play with both of these. All right, so I'm going to just line my upper lash line. Now, my personal preference is a brush tip for liquid liner, but I wanna test this and see. So far, so good. I'm just going to line the upper lash line with our black shade. Okay, and for the inner corner, we'll take the purple and I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of an inner corner wing with the purple. Pull it like this. All right, so there we have our purple kind of inner corner flick. I'm going to do the other eye, put on some mascara, put something in my lower waterline, and then I'm going to try one of these lashes. These are dramatic lashes, y'all. These are the faux mink lashes. Um, so I was gonna say I'll go with that, whichever ones are less intense, which I think are these down here. I'll trim them up to fit my eye shape, and we'll use these, this, this pair on the bottom. And then I will come back and show you the look. Also want to swap out the lip and do the other lip trio. So let's swatch this on my hand, just like we did with this lip trio. Okay, I swatched the other lip trio. So here's the lip liner, the clear gloss, and this one has a liquid lipstick. So I'm going to swap out my lip. I'm going to apply the lash. I will come back and we'll talk about my first impression thoughts on this collection. Okay, y'all, here is the finished look. I put on the Latina Lip Trio, the lip liner, the liquid lipstick, and the lip gloss. And I did trim the lashes a lot so that they would more kind of fit my eye shape. And I think they look really, really pretty. I really like the lashes. I like the lip with this look. So let's kind of talk about this collection. I will let you know, just in case you're curious, I will put everything in the description box. Everything I talk about today, uh, it'll be in the description box. So definitely check there. My bronzer is the powder from the Pick It Up uh, from Give Beauty in the shade Smokin. My blush, I used the one size uh, Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio in Attention Seeker. I just used the cream and the matte powder. And then my highlighter is, of course, my Unearthly and Me Resurgence Highlighter Duo, the shade Rebirth. That's what I have on. And you saw the eyes, the lips, the eyeliner, the lash. So I think this is at a really nice price point. I pulled up so I could talk about it because I know I said I bought the PR box set. You can use a discount code on top of that. So I am happy with my purchase. I really wanted to try this brand out. I wanted to see what they were all about. So I'm glad I bought everything because I feel like I got, I got a little taste of what the brand offers. My personal favorites from this collection are the lip trios. I think they're really, really pretty. I really like the shades. I think the formulas are super nice. This clear gloss does feel a little thicker than the gloss from the other lip trio, the spicy lip gloss, but it feels nice. 
and I think it looks really pretty, really glossy. The lip li liquid lipstick felt nice. It didn't feel dry once it sat down because I did let it dry before I put on the lip gloss. And the lip trios are $19 a piece, which I feel like for three lip products and then you can use a discount code on top of that, I think that's a great price. The palette is $26. I think it has some nice mattes and shimmers and I'm just feeling my look overall. I'm definitely going to keep testing it and trying it. The sponge duo is $12. I also feel like that is a great price point. $6 a sponge before a discount. And their lashes, $16 for two pair. I feel like that's a, that's a good price too. The, the price points on these are really nice. They have some different bundles available. So definitely check the site if you're curious. But yeah, I, I want to keep playing with this. I want to keep trying it, especially the eyeshadow palette. And yeah, I'll definitely follow up in the future. But the standouts for me, what I like the most from this collection so far are the lip trios. I think they're super duper pretty and I think the price point is really nice. So huge congratulations to Louis Castro and Beauty Creations. Again, I will put the link to this down in the description box. I did see that they have some stores and it looked like they were all out in California. So if you're in the area, maybe you could see this in person, but I have lots of things to do today. So I'm on my way out the door, but I hope you will subscribe so my videos keep showing up on your feed. I will have lots of new videos coming, so make sure you don't miss out and I will see you then. Bye.